alligator, crocodile, and other reptile leather items are very popular these days. Of course, they are also very expensive, but there are other top quality ways to create these items. In this video program, we will show how to craft great looking belts from embossed cowhide for a fraction of the cost. The first thing to do when making any belt is to cut the leather to length uh, for the size belt you're going to make. In this case, I'm going to make a 36 inch waist belt, so I should establish 44 inches. I would add 8 inches to the waist size and I'll make a mark right here at 44 inches. Next I will use a strap end punch. I will carefully set it on my mark and I will punch the tongue end on my belt. Next, I will prepare the end where we will attach the buckle. I'll take my round corner punch first and uh, I will round the two corners on the end as you can see. Next, I will turn the belt over to the back side. I will take a ruler and I will make a mark one half inch and then another mark one inch after that put a mark in the center of each one and when we can punch our holes after we have marked the first two holes one one inch apart then we will add two inches and make another mark and then in one inch another mark and then we will carefully mark the center and with our ruler then or our straight edge we can mark for the other two holes now we will punch these holes I am going to use key posts for this so I'm going to punch a hole that is 3 16th inch if we are going to use a buckle with a tongue as opposed to a trophy style buckle then it's necessary to punch a oblong slot in here for the tongue of the buckle to come through. So I'll locate it exactly in the center of this area that we left blank before. Next, I will edge bevel completely around the outside edge. Turn it over and edge bevel the back side. Next I will use a skiving knife to skive the area from the slot down to the end to reduce the thickness where it goes over the buckle. I'll reduce this down about one half the thickness. It is now time to slick the edges of our belt. First thing I'll do is take a damp sponge and we'll dampen the edges all the way around. Next I will take an edge slicker and I'll slick these edges until they get nice and smooth. Next we will punch holes in the tongue end of the belt. I'll start first by coming in four inches from the tip and make a mark and then I will make four more marks three quarters of an inch apart. Now I will very carefully punch these holes in the center once again using the, the uh, 3 16 inch punch.
For my first belt today, I'm going to use the EcoFlow water stain, professional water stain in fact, to color this belt. I'm going to apply it with a dauber and I'm making sure that I get in all of the impressions. I will also very carefully dye the edge. Now we will continue down the entire belt. Another really good looking gator belt can be made by finishing with the gel antique finish. With this finish it's very important to get it down in the all of the impressions because uh, we will wipe off the excess I like to use a folded paper towel for that. And we will end up with a real nice two-tone finish. Uh, it's a good idea to use a flat piece of paper because then we don't dig down in the impressions and bring out the color that we put in there. and We can lighten it up by putting a little dampness on our paper towel and when this dries you will notice it's uh, very very good looking. After your coloring has dried we can now put our top finish on. I'm going to use the EcoFlow top finish in the very glossy uh, finish. This will give us the look that we want of genuine alligator. It's very easy to use, just wipe it on. As you see, I'm using a piece of sheep wool scrap. Just wipe it on and set it aside to dry. This finish works well over the water stain or the gel antique. Just wipe it on. Not necessary to rub it in. After the finish has dried, as you can see, it has a very rich look now. At this time, uh, the last thing to do is put finish on the edge. In this case, I'm going to use the EcoFlow edge paint. I'll do the entire edge and then just let it dry. Attaching the buckle is quite easy. It's just a matter of sliding the belt through the buckle, as you can see, and uh, bring the tab back. And now we will push the part of the key post through the hole then it's just a matter of fastening it with the screw. And now we'll do the same thing with the other one. You can also fasten your buckle with rivets. I will first uh, put the buckle in place just like we did the other one. Fold the end back. And then I will put a rivet through the hole, match them up, put the cap in place, and then on to a solid surface with your rivet setter, just sit it in place. I will do the other one the same way. And our belt is finished. 